they can be drought busters, snowpack makers. There are forecast models 44, 46, 48 inches and above. And way, way too much of a good thing. We got water coming in underneath the walls in the house and in the garage and stuff, so it's time to bag up. Atmospheric rivers can be incredibly destructive. It's a worldwide phenomenon, but the Pineapple Express is best known in the U.S. Plumes of water vapor flow west from the Hawaiian tropics, eventually hitting the mountainous west coast. This abundant tropical moisture rises, cools, then drops out as rain and snow. As water vapor, atmospheric rivers can hold as much water as the Amazon River. Closer to home, that's like more like eight to 10 Mississippi. So it's really a, a huge amount of uh, fresh water that's being transported. And then I look to my right and I notice there's part of a tree in my garden. Uh, atmospheric rivers are not just water, but they're also wind. Christine Shields is co-author of this study, aiming to predict future atmospheric river behavior in a warmer world. The amount of precipitation, the water content of the atmospheric rivers will definitely increase. And there's a new twist. It's not all about water from the sky. We see this response of the atmospheric rivers pushing the water towards the coast amplified. And along with that push could come big and sometimes destructive waves. 